let's go to a quick thing here um, that I want to show. Oh, no, I wanted to do this with you, Graham, because I've been waiting on this. Uh, you might have heard about this already. But um, if there's one thing you can count on to always do the ethical thing, it's um, it's capitalism. I, yes. I mean, look, 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 always. the free market will fix everything constantly. Yes. And here's another example of that really coming to our rescue. Check this out, Graham. Gig Economy launches an Uber type style company. But guess what it's for? It's not for giving rise to people. It's for evicting people. Jesus Christ. There's freelance evictors coming. It's a company called Civil, C-I-V-V-L. Um, and uh, I don't know who the CEO is, but I'd imagine everybody involved has horns. And uh, they say evicting people is the fastest growing money making gig <laughs> due to COVID-19. Can we all agree that capitalism is bullshit now? Can we all? Wow. I know people love to make excuses. Well, no, it's not exactly capitalism. But no, it's freaking capitalism. It sucks. It's so there's a team of people that have been planning this for a while. And they yeah. all sat in a room and went, hey, there's a lot of money to be made on people's lives getting ruined. And no one in the room went, this is kind of fucked up, right? Did anyone no. say it? Did anyone go, um, I don't want to I don't want to make money off of people getting evicted. Well, you know did what happened? Maybe somebody in the room did. And you know those memes where like there's uh, a big group of people agreeing on a shitty idea, and then there's one person that goes, well, what if we just, and then they say something like, right. And then they throw that person out the window. Yeah. You know, the, the, that you've seen that meme where, where it's just like, where it's just like, how do we get people to vote for Joe Biden? Well, maybe we should just yell at them. Maybe we should wag our finger at them. Maybe we should call them uh, Trump enablers or Russian bots. And, and then one person in the room goes, well, maybe Joe Biden should be a better candidate. They throw that person out the window. <laughs> right. It's like one of those memes. There was one dude that was like, uh, maybe, uh, or, or, or lady, you know, I, I, you know, it could have been anything, uh, uh, you know, and, and they go, oh, well maybe, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should not do this horrible idea. Maybe we should make an app that does something else. Like maybe we should make an app that, um, I don't know, helps people find affordable housing. I don't know, like, but something better than this. And then they threw that person out the window. Yeah. And it's just like, I, I hope this team, I hope these people, these young hipster tech folks are have body armor because there's going to be some people who are not going to leave their homes and they're going to be armed. It's like, nuts. This happened in the 30s and during the Depression. They would come try to, and, and the whole community would come out and, with their shotguns and surround them and say, nah, you're not taking this home. See, and, the problem is people knew their neighbors back then. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that that's that's something they had then that we don't have now. We we don't have the sense of community, comparatively speaking, the way this country once had it. And and that's very sad. And there's a number of reasons for that. And, and there's a there's a book written about it called Bowling Alone by Robert Putnam. Really cool book. That's a beautiful I read that book. book. It's a good yeah, book. it's fantastic book. And it really breaks that stuff down. And um, but yeah, we don't have that this time around. Let's see what else is going on with this uh, this company. Here's since oh, so this is from their website. Since COVID nineteen, many Americans fell behind in all aspects. Read the website company. Um, instead, it is a following. <laughs> the button below this statement is not for a GoFundMe or a petition calling for rent relief. Instead, it is the following call to action from a company called Civil: Be hired as eviction crew. <laughs> A lot of your Americans fell behind and look at the opportunity. You can evict some of them. They'll they'll get it. They'll understand. Like meter maids rejoice because now there's a group of people that are going to be more hated. Um <laughs> it, it's it's I, I just unbelievable that no one's been like what what are you doing? Like this is this is it's like I mean, I don't know. I, I, is it? Are they worse than the private prison industry? That's like, hey, we need more criminals. Let's create criminals. Like, oh, this is very private prison industry. Yes, because who do you think is going to be drawn to want to do this gig? Oh, evil. It's going to be, and it's going to be people who fantasize about having that badge and that gun, yeah. and they probably already got the gun. They just don't have the badge. I mean, I mean, this is going to be brutal if this. And, and they're moving forward with this. This is going to be brutal. If they just allow regular citizens to start evicting people, 
I mean, it's bad enough with cops, with regular citizens. I mean, I mean, there's just going to be there's just going to be mass chaos because the people doing this stuff, it, it's going to be it's going to be people like like Kyle Rittenhouse. It's going to be people like that. Right. So, so, sociopaths, people sociopaths who are hoping society collapses and uh, th- th- I mean, and just can't wait to like, ah, oh, I'm going to evict some people like that. Th- it's crazy. I mean, America, you're seeing how insane America is. And when you talk to anybody from outside of America, they look at us and go, you guys are insane. You are, yeah. you don't, you, you are out of your minds. You haven't handled this. All you got to do is look at one graph of COVID-19 and you see the European countries spike, and then they came down. And then you look at Japan, little spike, and Japan's been open this whole time. Mm-hmm. They've worn masks the whole time, and they think of each other as the whole. They, they 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 think of their community, and it's like, oh, we need to protect the older people. So, like, if you're not working or you're high risk, stay home. You know, and so, but people have been riding subways in Tokyo, one of the largest cities in the world, riding subways to work wearing masks at work. They spread out the work shifts and stuff like that. And, but everyone wore a mask and look at their numbers. They've, they've been low. They've been like practically flatlined this whole time. No one's arguing. It's my right. <laughs> this country is so stupid and it has been made so stupid because of its sociopathic capitalists in charge. Cause someone's reading this story and going, Oh, wow, well, there's a job to be had. And not that they're a horrible, evil person. Some of the people, like you say, are going to be like, yeah, chomping at the bit. But some people are going to be just like, oh, I need a job. And these are the jobs offered to them. And they haven't been educated correctly. No one thinks to go, and the media is not going, what? This is awful. The media is part of it because the media is part of the ruling class. They are the propaganda arm of the oligarchs. So then you have all these Americans just like, shit, I need a job. You know, like I might, I guess I got to work for the prison. It's the only people hiring in my town is the private prison industry or this eviction company now or the military. I mean, oh, and nothing why- and, and getting it down to the biggest theme here. Nothing pleases the ruling class more than when we're fighting amongst each other. Of course. Well, nothing but- works out better. That's the ultimate. We're fighting amongst each other. Fantastic. Yeah. Here's an app for that. There's an app for that. Do you want to keep the plebs fighting amongst themselves? We got an app for that now. We Regular got an working app for class that now. people are going to get this job and then they're going to be fighting with the people they're evicting. Great. Yeah. Here's an app to keep us fighting with each other. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I bet they didn't have a problem getting any seed money from Wall Street. Weird. I wow. bet they had no problem whatsoever. So I just had on my show Christy I on Monday from Boomer Bust, right, which is the RT uh, economic show. And she's a crypto person, and she's she's very knowledgeable of what's going on. She told me, she told me domestic and foreign investors are are shorting the dollar, which means they're betting against the dollar. The dollar is at an all time low, and they're betting. Investors are like, "Oh, America's going to go under. Let's let's profit from when it goes under." They're betting against this country. Mm. The money people are. Yeah. Well, well, and they've done that on the micro level for a long time now. They've yep. bet against pensions to rob teachers. They've bet against, I mean, all these other things to kind of get what they want. When you really look at the way Wall Street works, it is absolutely insane. Like if, if you just described it, like just describe the basic of it. Like, well, we, we do these, we fund these big corporations and, and then if, if they get a billion, great. And if they don't, we, we usually just kill them because the shareholders need to make more money so they can make more money. And, so, and then they make bets on this one thing that it might make money, but then if it doesn't make money, they can still make money depending on how their bet goes. And at the end of the day, these couple people make all this money. Uh, what happens to everyone else? Nothing. But these couple people, they get a lot of money and then they yeah. keep betting it and then they make more and more money. They're like, this sounds like the most sustainable, unsustainable thing ever. Well, but all these people have this money. These people have this money. And sometimes, sometimes they might do something nice with their money to get a tax write-off. And look at all the people that helped. It's like, well, comparatively speaking, compared to all the suffering they caused, it, it it's a small drop in the bucket. So... This is still completely unsustainable. But look at this nice thing they did once this year for a tax write-off. And the cycle continues. Yeah. It is It is unbelievable. It, it is just unbelievable. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get 
Together and making our own. Get your new.